Hello, my name is Quentin Brown and I am the owner of QR Codes Australia. We provide QR code to over 34 countries around the world and we provide it using one of two systems. Our first is the free generator. And here you can create as many free QR codes as you want. And these are what we call static QR codes in that it cannot be changed once you've created it. You can also create the sizes and then it's just a matter of creating the QR code and this shows you where the text appears once you create the QR code and then it's just a matter of clicking and downloading the image and using it. So that's our free static QR code generator. Our second QR code generator is a dynamic QR code generator and it provides tracking and also you can alter the URL or the information within that QR code at a later date. This is a program we've mainly provided to agencies so they can create QR codes for their customers and charge them for it. However, we're also now opening it up for businesses and it's simply a matter of going to the sign up page here. Choose your rate, either 10, 25, 100. Fill out your information, you'll be taken to PayPal. Uh, you'll pay and then you'll be sent your username and password. If you don't want to use PayPal, simply fill in our request and invoice form and choose which one you'd like. Just choose your option, monthly, quarterly, yearly. Fill in your information. We'll send you an invoice where you can pay by credit card or direct deposit and then we'll set up your account manually for you. Once you get your information, it's then just a matter of going to our login page. Now you'll note here that it's trackqrc.com and that's because we provide this as greyware. So when your customers come, they will not be able to see us in the background at all. So if you actually just go to the URL, it will just send you to the login page. So it's what we call greyware and you'll get your 500 QR codes. So here you'd notice you'll have a list of all the different clients you've created or your own QR codes. Let's just go create one now. And so we're going to call this uh, website, web design. It's going in a flyer and we're going to use this URL. And you can see here I've used four of my 500. So I'm just going to generate. Go to the next tab. Now a new program which has just come online gives the opportunity to use some of these special designs so it looks a little bit more funky than the old design. So let's use this one. Now these control the color. So this is the main color. So as you can see it's black. I'm just going to change one color here and then you can use this to change the colors and you'll see how it works. So there you are. I've just entered those colors in. You can make it transparent. Some people use a transparent one and put them over uh, different colors etc. You can change the size here. Choose the URL you want. So I've got a very short URL. So I could just use a def default. I can use a shortener. Or I can use a vanity. And so this will uh, make it look more like yours if you want to. You'll notice we've got an EPS SVG PDF or PNG. So let's just generate that now. And so there's our file. So as you can see, this is the top right hand corner. This is the other, this should be top left hand corner and bottom left hand corner. As I said, this is brand new. We've only put it up. So we've got a couple of uh, little tweaks to make to it yet. And then I can download this in one of these formats. If it's going into print, quite often they'll want an EPS for it. The beauty is you can come back and change that URL later on. And we also have some preferences here. So a lot of our customers use them for promotions. 
So they might have a promotion for a month and then they want the UR, the QR code to revert back to a, a generic page, maybe their home page or just a generic offer. And so they'll put the URL in here. They'll click when they'd like it to expire the date or they could do after so many scans. And the other information down here you can go to and have a look at. If you have any trouble, we've got the help and support there. Another thing that lots of people like to add is this tracking code. This code allows you to get all sorts of information. So while you might send it to their promotion uh, promotions page, you might have a link then to other pages within your site. And so by putting this code, this tracking code on to different pages, you can start getting all sorts of additional information. If you have something like WordPress, you could just put it in the header and it will track wherever they go within your site. The thing is you could upload a logo in this area here. So let's just go to say a YouTube logo. There's the logo. Let's regenerate it. Now you can see we have a logo in the middle there. You have to be a bit careful with logos because obviously they're going to affect your scan rate. Once you've done all this, you also have the opportunity to manage campaigns, uh, do bulk QR codes, and we have extras here. Now these extras can be used for all sorts of things. We've got URL, geolocation, uh, V-card information, calendars, bitcoins, all sorts of different QR codes you can create. They're so not quite as trackable as a URL one because you can't put in that code. However, there are lots of great uses there for other QR codes. Now, as I said, lots of our customers use these for their clients. Here under sub users, you would go and create their a client name, give them permission to either read only or read and write, and then you would provide that information, the uh, customer, UR, customer email and password, and they can log in and have a look at the stats for their QR code and also change their URL later if they want. So that makes it a really versatile program for you. Quite often we may do a, a mobile website for a customer, so this is great for webmasters, we'll include a QR code for them. And it's just an additional part for the price. So for $10 a month, I've got 500 customers. I can afford to uh, give them a free QR code with their mobile website, uh, which they really like. Or I can just charge them a, a small fee for, for it. Let's go to our dashboard. Here's the one we just made, web design. Hasn't been scanned yet. So I'm just going to scan it with my phone right now. So this is our QR code. It's got the YouTube in. You can see it's had one scan. I'm going to scan it again. You could probably hear it then beep as it's scanned. And so you just saw it go up to two. As you can see now we have two scans. And you'll notice it's done it in Brisbane. Now this is going to scan to the closest tower. So these are all the different analytics you can get, the goals. Goals is, as I said, putting that code in to your pages to see where they go. Time on site, page views, unique scans, etc. And this is the manual if you want to go out and find out about any of the features. So as I said within the QR codes here, when you're generating we also have, can do QR codes for smartphones. So once again you just put in the title, the URL to the various apps that you've created for the different phones. Obviously a default URL, so this might be your home page or something like that. It's where they will go if they're not using one of these phones. And also you can do Facebook pages. So here you'll just put in your Facebook page and a message to show after the page has been liked. 
My name is Crennan Brown from QR Codes Australia, thanking you for going through this workshop and I hope it makes your uh, job of creating QR codes a lot simpler. Thank you very much and uh, be sure to contact us if you have any questions. Music